What's going on, Hustle Hoop fans? This is your brother Earl, and I am coming to you today with a update on projected number one pick, DeAndre Aiden. Uh, DeAndre Aiden was just moved to number one on the ESPN mock draft earlier today or yesterday, depends on where you are. Um, and also, he was named later on after being moved up to number one on the ESPN mock draft. He was named Pac-12 Player of the Year in the Pac-12 Freshman of the Year. Um, that was announced um, Monday night, late Monday night. Also, Aiden was named to the Pac-12 All-First Team, All-Defensive Team, and All-Freshman Team as expected. Now, he is just the third player to win the Pac-12 Freshman of the Year and Pac-12 Player of the Year in the same season. The other two, Sharif Abdul-Rahim from Cal in 1996 and Kevin Love from UCLA in 2008. So you can see he is keeping that 2010 NBA company and he looks like he's going to be a 2010 big man in the NBA. Uh, for college, he is averaging 19.9 points, 11.4 rebounds, 1.9 blocks, and 1.4 assists. During the regular season, shooting 62% sick. And also 34% from three and 75% from the free throw line. Uh, and when you look at him, you just can't help but be impressed by his physique. He is a seven foot one big man. He had 21 double doubles in the regular season, which is the most ever by a Pac-12 freshman, which says a lot when you just think about that Kevin Love, which was one of the best rebounders um, that has come along in the last decade was in the Pac-12. Um, he's from the Bahamas. He ranks first in scoring, rebound, blocks, field goal percentage in Arizona freshman history. He just had 26 points and 20 rebounds in Arizona's win over Cal, becoming the first Wildcat to ever have a 2020 game uh, since 1975-76. And here's what um, Coach Sean Miller had to say about him. He's a tremendous player. He does it on offense. He does it on defense. He does it in the big moments. Physically, he's like Superman but he's also very skilled. If you have a guy like him that's physically gifted, plus you have the skill level and the intelligence, he's going to be a player that's going to go down as one of the great ones to play our game. That's how Coach um, Sean Miller sees him. Um, he is projected by everybody to be a top three pick, uh, by most people to be the number one pick, maybe number two. I can't see him falling anywhere past number two, and it'd have to be a special situation for somebody to not take him number one. And the reason is, even though the NBA has moved to a um, more perimeter-based um, offense and you have guys like Steph Curry, James Harden, LeBron James, um, Dame Lillard, uh, Kevin Durant, you have all these perimeter guys doing it. The next crop of players, the Joel Embiid's, uh, even... Um, uh, Anthony Davis you know those guys um, Porzingis those guys are the big what what they call the unicorns the supersized skilled bigs that can do everything that can go inside protect the rim shoot from three shoot from the mid range pick and roll pick and pop they do everything and these guys are going to be very very difficult to stop and uh, I can see Aiden being a double double guy from the jump as a rookie in the NBA, it's going to be very, very, very hard to keep him off the boards. And if you just watch him, if you can see these highlights that are you watching, and you can see that mid range jump shot, the, the face up game, the three point range, the, the offensive rebounding, everything he does, he is a high skilled player. I compare his skill level to um, uh, young David Robinson or even um, maybe LaMarcus Aldridge. Um, and and I know when I say LaMarcus Aldridge, people kind of say, well, that, you know, LaMarcus Aldridge wasn't no all-time great. But LaMarcus Aldridge had an insane skill level from the jump. Now, he's a much better rebounder than Aldridge. He's a much more physical specimen than Aldridge. 
and he's in the mold he's even a if you look at some of david robinson's old um college videos and um he's a more of a physical specimen than david robinson uh coming in already so he's not a player that's going to need a lot of work as far as body work in the gym coming into the nba uh to increase his athleticism to create create it you know increase his strength and things like that he is going to be almost good to go from day one so everything he's going to be doing is going to be increasing his skill level his ball handling his decision making because the one thing is he did get a late start on starting playing basketball so his decision making his awareness it does need a little work and that's because he just hadn't put in the reps um, that other players have that grew up playing this game you know from a young age so it's a matter of rep it's a matter of reps it's not a matter of you know him being a lazy player or him not having the intelligence to um, execute plays and things like that it's just the reps and you know if you know anything about it to increase your skill level you got to put in the time and he just hasn't been able to put in the time that other players has because he got a late start in basketball so as you know i am a memphis grizzly fan i am a super fan of the memphis grizzlies so we have we are currently right now on march 6 2018 we are number one in you know um draft lottery results um, if you go to uh, any of the websites, uh, NBA Draft Net, ESPN, or uh, Tankathon, you will see that we are we have the mo- the greatest chance for the number one pick. And although we do have Mark Gasol already installed, he is getting a little up there in age, and Aiden could probably come in and play beside him at power forward uh, until you know until. You know, things work out or shift out. You know, the age differences is going to move out. Mark Gasol will either, um, you know, regress as a player and move on or the Grizzlies can trade him a little little later. But there's no rush because Aiden and Gasol are both high skilled big men. And we've already seen that it can work to some degree. And with the New Orleans Orleans Pelicans with um, Anthony Davis and uh, DeMarcus Cousins. So there is no reason for the Grizzlies to pass up on Aiden just because they have Mark Gasol because you know Aiden has even though he Aiden's playing with a playing at power forward in college right now which is kind of um deflating a couple of his um stats like blocks and uh steals because he's out there playing um power forward in college but you know he is Mark Gasol has some experience playing with an other, another dominant big. Aiden has experience playing with other bigs. So they're both good passers. They both can shoot from deep. They both can shoot from the mid-range. They both can run pick and rolls with uh, Mike Conley. Um, and Aiden would be a welcome addition to, to the boards for the Memphis Grizzlies because that is one of their big bugaboos. Um, for as far as team building because Marc Gasol is not a strong rebounder at uh, right now he was when he was a little bit younger but now he is a kind of a weak rebounder so Aiden would really clean up the board and be able to get some rim protection um, he would be able to play that power forward position and you know while Marc Gasol can hold the stronger bigs he could be able to hold some of the fleeter of foot bigs so that's where we are right now, March 6, 2018. Aiden, projected number one pick, Pac-12 Player of the Year, and he's still in the running for the National Player of the Year. I don't think Arizona quite had the season that's going to get lead him to be Player of the Year, but you never know. He's, he's in the running, so we'll see. But um, as a Grizzly fan, I will be hopeful, hoping – that the Grizzlies will be able to select him number one he is one of many players in this draft that I wouldn't mind seeing in a Grizzly uniform so right now peace and make sure if you like this video and you want to see some more because we're going to be doing some more 
previews on the draft, uh, Grizzlies, and all kind of stuff regarding NBA and basketball. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and come back and see us.